Hi there, welcome to this week's episode of The Heart of a Youth Leader. My name's Andy Castle, and this is a special replay episode. Thought it'd be nice over the summer to just play back some of the episodes from a few years ago, which didn't get as many listens as perhaps other episodes did. So you may have well have missed it. Uh, I should point out that uh, some of the episodes were recorded as we were coming out of the pandemic and the lockdowns, so some references will be uh, around that. But I still think the content and the teaching and the input is really useful. Uh, and so I really hope you find this week's replay episode to be of great benefit to you. Have a great week. See you next time. I had a gathering online last week of a number of youth workers for a new project we're working on. Uh, And I asked them at the start to give me some feedback as to how they're feeling at the moment. And I gave them a little poll that you can do on Zoom that lists all the different uh, emotions that you might be feeling at the moment. And there were some positive ones, some negative ones. And I said to people, you can choose two or three that best sum up how you're doing at the moment. Uh, And it was fascinating to see the two that came out top. The top one was hopeful. And then the next one was weary. Uh, And as I've reflected on that since, I think that really sums up how a lot of us are feeling at the moment. Hopeful for the future. but, But really weary and really worn out. Uh, And it's that second thing that I want to focus on today. This episode is coming out during half term. Hopefully you are getting some space to rest. Uh, Many of us I know will be taking some time out to be with our families. Can't go anywhere, but at least we don't have to uh, be trying to flog ourselves all the time with our work. And maybe it's a week where we can take a step back. We We can rest, we can reflect. Uh, and we can get refreshed. Uh, And so this thing about weariness is an important thing for us this week. Uh, And what comes to mind for me is uh, the famous verses from Jesus in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 to 30, uh, uh, where he says this, says, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened. Are you feeling weary and burdened today? I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. What beautiful words from Jesus. What encouragement is in these these verses to us. And I love this picture of the yoke. Uh, because uh, in, in, in Jesus's times, the, the yoke was a common uh, sight that the, the farmers would have uh, these, these yokes placed on their oxen to plough the fields and to do all the farm work. Uh, and the idea was that you would, you would yoke uh, uh, one ox to another. Uh, and you wouldn't do it just simply for power, you'd do it for different reasons. And, and basically what I can find is there's two main reasons why you would yoke one ox with another. The first is because you're training up a, a, a young ox to learn how to plough the fields, to learn how, how the process of farming works. So you'd, you, would, you would yoke, you would put this 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 uh, piece of wood across the shoulders of the, the two oxen with the inexperienced young ox being yoked, being tied to, being joined to this more experienced ox who would take the, take the lead uh, and, and kind of teach by, by example how to move forward pulling the plough or pulling whatever it's got behind it. So there's there's the the learning for the inexperienced ox. Then the second reason is when you've got an older ox, which is which is kind of past its best. It's tired uh, and it needs another ox to keep it going, keep the motivation going, keep pulling on. You can't put it on your own, but together you can do it. And and so those are two real reasons why you would yoke ox and together. (laughs) 
Uh, and, and I think, so for us, when Jesus says, come to me, my yoke is easy, my burden is light. Of course, by being yoked with another ox, the oxen uh, share the load, share the weight. Uh, and if you're tired, it means that the other one can perhaps take a bit more load for you. And so Jesus is one point here saying, come on, let me take it for you. Let me carry the burdens that you're going through. And I think we've all got burdens at the moment with these difficulties that we're experiencing. What's getting you down? What's getting you tired? Jesus saying, come on, let's do this together. Don't do this alone. Let's do it together. Uh, and, and then there's also this thing of... Uh, being the inexperienced ox in the, in the picture, Jesus going, come on, let me teach you how to do life well. Let me teach you what it looks like to do life together, that you don't have to struggle on your own. You don't have to wrestle on your own. Uh, and, and what I love is that Jesus is saying, this will give you rest. He says, if, I, if you come to me, if we yoke together, you'll actually get rest and you'll get refreshed because because Jesus describes himself saying, for I am gentle and humble in heart. So I'm not going to give you a hard time. I'm not going to make your life more complicated, more difficult. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to support you and make life more bearable and, and more joyful. And yet Jesus is gentle and he's humble, which means he won't force the yoke on us. He won't say, well, you're going to take this whether you like it or not. Although sometimes I wish he would to me because I'm so slow so often to go, Jesus, can you walk this with me? Can you carry this with me? Can you show me the way forwards? And yet here he is. He's always there for us, but he's gentle and he's humble. He's not pushing himself because he knows he's the best. He's patient, waiting for us to give uh, permission to share the, the, the burden together. Uh, and uh, I love the, the, looking at different translations in the New Testament, especially. And uh, I'm currently really enjoying uh, the Passion Translation. I know the message translates this really well, especially the opening of it. In the message, it says, are you tired, worn out, burned out on religion? Come to me. Wow, how many of us are burned out on religion? Uh, uh, but I also love the Passion Translation and the Passion Translation of these three verses says this. Are you weary carrying a heavy burden? Then come to me. I will refresh your life for I am an oasis. It's that beautiful image of that refreshment from Jesus. Goes on, simply join your life with mine. Learn my ways and you'll discover that I'm gentle, humble, easy to please. You will find refreshment and rest in me. For all that I require of you will be pleasant and easy to bear. So my challenge for us this week, this half term week, if you've got that luxury of stopping, is to take some time out with Jesus and just to reflect on how you're walking with him at the moment. And has the yoke slipped? Is it more on your shoulders than it is on his? Does it feel like you're only touching base with God when you can? Or are there areas in your life where you know you, you need to walk together? Because God doesn't say, do it and I'm watching to see how you trip up. He's saying, let me help. I'm here for you. So just try and explore one part of your life at the moment where, where you could be walking more in step with Jesus, that you could be ploughing the field, whatever that looks like in your ministry, with him, sharing the weight, sharing the burden, because we know his yoke is easy, his burden is light. Go for it.